OK, in this video, a particle is launched from a point on horizontal ground with speed 32 meters per second at an angle of 65 degrees above the horizontal. Right, so let's visualize that. OK, so at 32 meters per second, an angle of 65 degrees, and we want to find the length of time the particle is over 5 metres above the ground. So there is my 5 metres, OK? So that's 5 metres high, and you can see that the particle is over that 5 metre mark for that period of time, OK? That's the period of time that I want to find. So, first of all, A. So the acceleration is 0i minus 9.8j. Now, integrating. Introducing the initial conditions for the velocity. So u cosine, uh, sorry, 32 cosine, in my general terms here, 32 cosine 65i. And then we've got the 32 sine 65. Uh, take away the 9.8t. J. There we are. OK. And then we've got the S, the displacement. So starting from 0, 0. So just need to integrate this. 32T cosine 65I plus 32T sine 65. Take away 4.9T squared J. OK. So find the length of time the particle is over 5 metres above the ground. So I want the vertical... Uh, displacement to be 5 metres, so that I'm going to put 32t sine 65, take away 4.9t squared, equal to 5. OK? So if I rearrange this, OK, so I'm going to move everything onto the right-hand side, so 0 equals 4.9t squared, take away 32 sine 65t, uh, and then I've got that plus 5 as well. So now I'm going to put this into my quadratic solver. OK, so menu and then A, polynomial and then degree 2. So we've got the 4.9 minus 32 times sine of 65 degrees. And then we've got 5. And so we've got two values for T, 5.74100. I'm going to write them out to five decimal places, so I've got enough uh, space for this, and then t is 0.17774, okay? So this is the time at which the particle's at 0.17774, and that one is the uh, time when we're at 5.74100. So the time is that it's above the 5 metre mark is the difference between those times, okay? That gives me that total time. So we've got the 5.74100, take away 0.17774. And so we get 5.56326, so 5.6 seconds to two significant figures. Okay, So that we've got the same number of significant figures as the gravity.